Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and this is Interaction by Doomjot. Um, I was sent this one, told that this is one that Doomjot was pretty happy with for an easier puzzle. Um, don't know exactly what that means yet. I haven't looked into it. So, um, yeah, that's really cool. I mean, it's really nice when someone can be happy with a puzzle that they come up with that they think is a little bit easier. So looking forward to looking into this one. Um, what else is going on on the channel? Um, people have asked me what's happening with the Sudoku Problem series. Um, the the issue I've had with the Sudoku Problem series is, A, it's a lot of work to create the Sudoku Problems um, videos. Uh, it's basically almost as much work to put out a problem video as it is to do a puzzle video. Um, they have... The people, there's a lot, just a lot less engagement with them. People, I mean, they don't get as many views. There's not as much, um, people don't seem to like them as much. And I don't get as many submissions for them. Um, and I don't get, honestly, I do almost every puzzle that's submitted. And I, um, so if I'm not getting problems, I can't do them. Now, I've got a bunch that was submitted by a couple of people, um, but they were uh, all... <laughs> Often a lot of the ones that were submitted, like here's four of the same idea, I could pick one and going through it and figuring out which one to pick and everything was also taking a lot of time. So it's basically, I, I need to either put a lot of time into figuring out which, which problems to do um, because people are sending me lots of options and then I've got to test them, I've got to figure out what that is and that's just a huge amount of work before I can even start recording, which is a large amount of work. Um, and the other problem I've had with them is people seem to be thinking, well, you've done something like this before, so I'm now going to do something that's very, very different or ramp it up. Whereas the whole point of this is we're trying to drive home the concepts. So if people were were to do sort of a similar thing that's been done before, but in a slightly different way, or even exactly the same thing, but in a different position or with different numbers so that people had to sort of think about it a different way. The whole point is to to teach the lessons and make the, the fundamental tricks um, learned. And you learn by doing the same thing over and over. Um, but all I'm getting, I, I had a couple that were submitted that were just like, they were basically a couple of digits away from being full puzzles. And that's not the thing that I'm aiming for with the problem series very much. So yeah, getting that balance right. And if I'm not getting ones that are suitable, I can't record them. So yeah, um, that's the issue with that. But anyway, let's have a look at interaction by Doomjot. Um, if I, I, if I, once I get a bank of like a dozen or so that I'll do, I'll do another dozen and then we'll move on. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, interaction by Doomjot. So normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then um, arrow. So digits placed on an arrow must sum to the dig value in that arrow circle. So the sum of these three cells will go into that circle and I can already see something. So uh, yeah, um, that's the rules for this one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So yes, I could already see something here, which is the sum of these three goes into this circle, but I cannot put a one onto these three. So the minimum I can put here is two, three, and four. And the sum of two, three, and four is nine. So this is a nine and and this is a two, three, and a four. And I'm going to turn off the pencil mark checker, which I turned on for the previous puzzle. But I can see that that's not a four. So the minimum I can put here is one, five. So this still could be six, seven, eight, or nine. But here, I cannot put a two. So this can't be six, because this would have to be one, two, three, and I can't use a two. And it can't be seven, because this would have to be one, two, four. So this is an eight or a nine. And the nine here means that this is an eight. So this is an eight without a two. So one, three, four, which is the minimum it can be, is eight. So this is one, three, four. And the four means that is not the four. Now, can I do something similar here? So this is, again, all of these are three digits. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. This one can't be six or eight, and this one can't be eight or nine. So this is a six or a seven. So this has to have a one or a two, and this is one, two, three, or four, um, because six is one, two, three, seven is one, two, four. There is no four there. Now... And this is either one, two, four, or something else. Now these sum to nine, but do not include one or two. So they're three, six, or four, five. So these are three, six, or four, five. 
So where's nine in this box? I can't put nine there. Can't put nine on the arrow. So nine is here and where's seven? No, but nine is now down here. Eight in this box is in one of those two. Eight in this box is in one of those two. I'm not sure this is the way I should be looking at this. Nine in this box, maybe? Hmm. I can see it's not in any of those cells. What is this? Right, this eight arrow, this is way more obvious than I thought. How do you make up eight? It's either one seven, which it could be, two six, which it can't be, three five, which it can't be. So this is one and seven. So these are not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're five, six, eight, nine. This can't be eight or nine because it sees an eight or a nine. So this is five or six. How do I make up six or seven? That isn't quite as restricted. What about this? If this is seven, it'd be one, six. It couldn't be one, six. It'd be two, five, because it couldn't be three, four. So if it's seven, it's two, five. If it's nine, this has to have a two on it, surely. Because if it's nine, it couldn't be one, eight. It could be two, seven. It couldn't be three, six. And it couldn't be four, five. So this has to have a two on it. The, hmm. There's something a little more obvious that I'm missing. So this isn't one, two, three, or four. So it's five, six, or seven. But it's not seven. So it can't be one, it can't be two, it can't be three, it can't be four. It could be five, six, seven, it can't be eight, it can't be nine. But it can't be seven, because if this is seven, two, five, that's not seven. And if this is nine, this is two, seven, and that's not seven. So this is a five, six pair. So what is that? But I've got a five, six pair in this box now. And I've got a five, six pair in this row. So that's not a six. So that's not a three. And now I've got a five, six pair in this row. So that's not a five. What am I missing from this row? One, two, three. So this is one, two, three, or seven. <laughs> There's gonna be something ridiculously simple I've missed. Because that seems to be what I'm doing at the moment. Like this can't be one, two, three, four. It's five, six, or seven, and it's not seven. So this is a five or a six. Because it sees one, two, three, four, seven, eight, and nine. So this is a five or a six, which means this is a five, six pair. So these can't be one. They are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two, three, four, and that's not a two. So two is over here, but the two here means that that's not the two. This is a two which means two is now down here by Sudoku. Now, could this be two, three, four, maybe? Two is in one of those two now. So this is now one, two, three, four. So this is a one, two pair. Because I can't put one or two in those and I can't put one or two in those. And this is a one, two, three, four quadruple. So these are from five, six, seven, and nine. This is very strange. This is one of those digits, and it's not that one. So it's one of those digits. But it can't be five or six. So it's from two, three, four, eight, nine. 
Wait, it's more obvious than this. Oh, Lord, this eight. Where does eight go in this box? I can't put eight down here. I can't put eight on a three cell arrow because the minimum would be eight, one, two, which is 11. And I can't put eight on an arrow that sums to six or seven. That's an eight, which means there's no eight up there, which means this is a five, six, nine, triple. One of those two is nine. This is the eight, which means that's not the eight. This is the eight. It was all about the eights. This is not the eight. This is the eight. And now I've got four eights looking into this box, which puts an eight in the middle. Nine can't be there or there anymore because of those. So nine is in one of those two. And where is nine in this box? Well, nine has to be down here somewhere, which means nine is in one of those three and one of those two. One, two, three, seven, nine. This can't be one, two, four anymore. Because if this is a seven, this is one, two, four, and that is broken. This is a nine. So this is two, seven. There's no five on it. This is not the nine. This is the nine. And this can't have one and two on it. This is a five or a six, and this six, because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a five or a six. The six here makes this five and this six, which means this is six, this is five, this is five. There's no five up here. This is a six, nine pair, and the six here is looking at making that the nine and that the six. Very cool. Sixes can't go in any of those now. That's the six, or I could have used the five to do it. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five and seven go into those. Ah. Five is in one of those two now by Sudoku. No, five is right there by Sudoku. Five can't go in any of those and it can't go on a six or a seven arrow. That's the five. So that's a four, which means that's not the four. This is the four because of the one, three pair. This is now not a four. And this is not a four. This is a one, two, three arrow because of four in the box. So this is a six. So this has to sum to six but I can't put a five on it. So it's two, four, because I can't do three, three. And the four here tells me that's two and that's four. The two looks up making this the three and I can take three out of both of those. Now the four looks up making that the two and that the four. This is really cool fun. There's a lot to explore in this puzzle. And I agree, it's not too hard, but it's really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. This can't be six or nine, so that's the seven, and I can take seven out of those. This six makes this the nine and this the six. Seven is now in one of those two for the row. Where can I put seven in this row? I can't put it in those or those. So seven has to go in one of those two. So that's not the seven. Now I've got a one, two, three triple. So that becomes the seven and that becomes the two, meaning that's not the two. This is now one, three, and nine. And the nine takes the nine out of there. So this is the nine. Now this is a nine without a two on it. So one, three, five is the only option. So one, three, five, there's no three or five there. This is the one. So there's no one here. Uh, this five makes that three and that five. The three means there's no three here. The one looks up making that seven and that one, which looks down making that three. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six in either of those two because of those sixes. So this becomes the six. The seven looks down making that nine and that seven, which means that's five and that's seven. This one, of course, makes that two and that one. 
Now we're look one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and seven in here. Um, there's a one and a seven looking into there. So that is the two, which means that's the one and that's the seven. The one looks across making that three and that one. There's no one or three here. That's the two. Uh, the one looks across making that the three and that the one. The three looks up making that four and that three. This nine looks back, meaning that's not the nine. This is the nine. This two looks across, meaning that's not the two. This is the two. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no three there. There's no four there. That's the one. So I can take the one out of there. This is three, four. The three here will make this four and three. These rows are complete. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In here, I need to put three and five, and that three will resolve it. Three and five. Uh, this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use the six to make that a seven and that a six. And now I'm down to a single box. I need to put a one somewhere. It can go there. Two, three, I need to put a four somewhere. I can put it there. I need to put a five and a seven in. And I'll use that five to narrow them down. And that is the solution to interaction by Doomjot. That was a really cool arrow puzzle. Not too hard. Initial deduction's good. Um, I probably missed some stuff for a while, but yeah, very nice intro level arrow puzzle. Very much happy, very much happy. Very good wording. Very happy to have that one on the channel. Um, thank you very much, Doomjot, for submitting that one. Um, yeah, good fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying the content. Really do, I hope you like that one as much as I do. Um, yeah, as always, good luck with your solving.